different views of 3d objects part 1 today we will learn why objects appear different in shape and color when viewed from different sides hello uncle hello vandana hello vandana hello neha look neha what my papa got for me what has he got this looks like a pink colored box Look carefully, Neha. This is not a pink colored box, but a yellow colored clock. How can this be a clock? It has no hands at all. This is a pink colored box only. No, Neha. Look carefully. Wait, Neha and Vandana. I understand why you are getting confused. I will help you. Vandana, you go to Neha's position, and Neha, you come to Vandana's position. Okay. Wow, this clock is very beautiful. Oh good. You can see the clock now. Vandana, now you tell me how does the clock appear to you? I cannot see the clock. Instead of a clock, I can see a pink colored box. This means the clock appears to you the same way it appeared to me, like a pink colored box. Yes, and you can see the clock like I was able to see from here. How is this happening? Papa, please explain. Okay, Vandana, you also come here. Then I'll explain. We live in a 3D world. All the objects around us are 3D. What is the meaning of 3D? The meaning of 3D is three-dimensional. I'm still not clear, uncle. This means that every object has three dimensions those are width height and depth yes we had learned this while learning about bricks to measure bricks we use three dimensions yes and because of these three dimensions an object appears to be having different shapes when viewed from different sides for example when you look from the top the clock looked like a rectangle but when you saw from the front you could see a clock now i have understood a little let me explain this to you with another example see i have a toy that is in the shape of a staircase i will place this staircase on the table here now we will make a picture of it that will be fun let's start we will but wait for a while we will make this picture from different angles i will make it from here i can see this side vandana you make it from here because you can see it from the front and neha you make it from upstairs because you will then be able to see it from the top okay I have completed the drawing from my side. Even mine is complete. Even I have completed it. See, the three of us have made a picture of the same staircase seeing it from different sides. That's why each of our drawings look different. Now I have understood what is three dimension and that when you look at them from different sides their shapes appear different. Yes. But do you know that to draw the shape of 3D or three-dimensional objects accurately, the drawing is made from three different sides, like the way we drew this staircase. But what is this three-sided drawing called? One is called the top view, which tells us how an object will look if seen from the top. This means my drawing is a top view of the staircase which is a brown colored rectangle right Yes Neha in addition to the top view there's another view which is called the side view in that the object is drawn by looking at it from the right side So does this mean that the drawing you have made is a side view of the staircase as you made the staircase seeing it from the right side of it yes you are right vandana
I drew the staircase from the front. Uncle, which view would it be called? Vandana, this will be called the front view. That means when an object is seen from the front, then its front view will be visible. Yes, and that's why Vandana's drawing appears to be different from our drawings. Yes, this is a colorful rectangle. So, did you understand? This is the front view of the staircase. This is the side view and this is the top view. What did you understand? Now I have fully understood that all objects are three-dimensional. The three dimensions are width, height and depth. Because of this, objects appear to be of different shapes when viewed from different sides. To understand the exact shape of an object, one must look at it from three sides. From the top, front and from the right side. While looking at an object from the top, then the top view of the object appears. The front view of the object is visible when viewed from the front. And the side view of an object appears when viewed from the right side. Very well said, children. Now you both play and I'll do my work. Okay, Papa. We will go and play and we'll tell everyone about 3D in school tomorrow. Different Views of 3D Objects Part 2 Today we will make top view, side view and front view of different objects. Yesterday Papa told us about different views of objects and we also made a drawing of the staircase from different views. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Why not take more objects and also see them from different sides? Okay, tell me which object to start with. I have this toy car. Why not make it from different views? Okay, I'll make it from the top and front view. You make it side view from the right side. Okay. See, I have made both the views. Looking at these two views, no one can say that it is the shape of a car. I was thinking the same while drawing. Show me the side view now. See this. Yes, now it looks like it is a drawing of a car. This way we can draw many objects from different views. Yes, we can make it, but it will not be much fun. Let's play a game. You make all three views of an object. Even I will make all three views of one object. After that you identify which object I have drawn. And I will try to identify which object you have drawn. Yes, this will be fun. Come, let us play. I have completed my drawing. Even I am done. Look. First, let me see what you have made. Its top view is in the shape of a circle. And its side view looks like an ice cream cone with ice cream in it. And its front view is also the same as the side view. This is definitely an ice cream cone. Absolutely right. Now I will try and guess. Its top view is a rectangle. Its front view is also a rectangle. It can be a box. Now after seeing its side view, I will tell you what it is. Hey! Its side view is like a swing in a park. This means it is a drawing of a swing. This was tough. This was fun. Let's make one more. Okay. Look at the front view of my drawing. This is a triangle. This is the side view of my drawing. This is also a triangle as before. And this is the top view of my drawing. What can this be? It has become very difficult. I will try to make it now. Only then will I be able to guess. Let me first make a drawing of its side view. Now I will add its front view. It has four sides and all are triangles. That means it is a drawing of a pyramid. You are right. Now show your drawing. 
Then I will tell you what you have made. This is the top view of my drawing. It is a rectangular shape, the sides of which are of different colors. What can this be? Now see the front view. This drawing is in the shape of the English letter U. Now see the side view. What can it be? Oh, this is a rectangle. I think I will also have to make it. Look, here is the side view which is a rectangle. Here is the front view which is in the shape of a U. And here is the top view which is a rectangular box. But the sides are of a different color. Oh, it has become a bridge-like shape. Tell me, is it correct? Yes, you are absolutely right. This game is very interesting. We can play it with the whole class by forming groups. Today we learned why do objects appear different in shape and color when seen from different sides. <music> different views of 3D objects, part 3. Today we will learn about those objects that have the same top view, side view and front view and whether the shape of an entire object be determined from just three views. Vandana, yesterday I was drawing the top view, side view and the front view of different objects. I found some objects whose shape you will not be able to guess easily. Well, this will be a lot of fun, sure? See this. Hey, these are all in the shape of a circle. How did this happen? Is this really the drawing of an object? Yes, and it can be easily found. How can this happen? All three views of any object should be different. Hey, I have another drawing in which all three views of one object are the same. Show that also. See this. All these are in the shape of a square. And that two of the same size. Yes, now try and guess. Let's first start with the second drawing in which all are in the shape of a square. Okay, this is the drawing. Let me try to make it. Let's make it stop you first. Then let's make the front view and in the end it's side view. Oh, this is a box. Very good. I thought you will not be able to guess. Now I have an idea about the drawing of the circle. Okay, then tell me. This is a ball. If you look at a ball from any side, it will look the same. Oh, wow! You answered that without drawing it out. Yes, without this box, it would have been very difficult to guess. It is good that you brought this drawing today. Otherwise, I would have never understood that there are such objects which have the same view from all sides. But I cannot understand one thing. What? To make the side view of an object, why do we only make the right side view and not the left side view? Maybe because it is not necessary. Maybe these three views are enough to tell about the remaining views. No, I don't think that's the case. Let's do one thing. You make three views of an object and show me. I will tell how the object looks from the left side. Okay, I will make the drawing of an object that looks different from the right and the left side. Okay, make it. Look at this and tell me what it is. Let me see. It looks like a rectangle from the front view. Now let's look at its side view. From the side view, it looks like two rectangles are kept side by side. As of now, I cannot say what will be its left view. Now show me its top view. This is a rectangle which is cut from the side. Now you have seen all three views. Try to tell me the view from the left side. First I will try to make it in 3D. Now I can easily draw its left side. See, it has been made like this 
first a big rectangle and then a small rectangle hmm you were able to draw the left view from the right view top view and side view maybe that's why only three views of an object are enough yes even i think so let's go lunch time is about to get over let's quickly eat our food neha and vandana have now understood that there are some objects that look the same from all sides that's why the top view front view and the side view of those objects are the same and the shape of the entire object can be determined from just three views introduction to maps part 1 today we will learn what is a map and what is its use and what is the use of map with written instructions so children let us end today's class here wish you a very happy birthday to you madam <laughs> thank you very much for your wishes you all are invited for the birthday party at 6 o'clock at my home madam we will definitely come but we don't know the route to your home oh yes i forgot to tell you that okay children you all please open your notebooks and i will give you the directions to reach my home okay madam go straight from as you exit from our school gate then take a second right after that turn left and go straight you will see a hospital take right from the hospital and go straight until you see a sweet shop my home is right in front of it now i am leaving be there at 6 o'clock okay children Let's go to madam's home. It will be a lot of fun at the party. Let's go. I'm also very excited. Look Neha, there is a circle on this road and there is a turn towards the right side. We have to go this way. Hurry up before we get late. Oh Neha there is no road ahead what to do now oh no i think we have taken the wrong way we have made a mistake vandana we should follow the directions given by madam look madam told us to take the second right turn but we have taken the first right turn come let's go back do you remember we have seen the circle we took a right from here that was our mistake now this left road will take us back to the school therefore we should take a right from here look there is another road going towards right this is the second right turn we should take this way Yes, now we are on the correct route. Let's take a right turn from here. Oh, Vandana, where are you going? We should check with the directions given by Madam. Look, there is a garden over there and a road to the right and left. Oh, yes. Then which road should we take? Madam has not mentioned anything about a garden. I am not able to figure out this. Okay, let us do one thing. Let's make a drawing according to the directions given by Madam. This is our school. This road is in front of our school. This is the circle where we took a wrong turn towards the right. The second right turn was the correct one. After that, we took this road. Now we are at this point. Madam said that after taking the second right, we need to take a left turn. Then we will see a hospital and from there we have to take a right turn. Going straight along the road, we will see a sweet shop. Madam's home is in front of that shop. Yes, now I got it. 
Let's go. Look, there is a hospital. According to this drawing, we should take a right turn. See, the sweet shop is there. Madam's house must be in front of the shop. Look, Madam is standing there. Come on, Neha and Vandana. I was waiting for you both. Did you face any difficulty to reach here? We faced some difficulty in the beginning because we took a wrong turn. But then Neha made a drawing according to your directions. With the help of this, we reached your home easily. Neha, show me what you have made. Oh, great, Neha. You have made a map that leads to my home. Uh, madam, what is a map? Don't worry, Neha. I will explain. If a place is represented with the help of lines, then it is called a map. A map helps us to go from one place to another very easily. Just like the way Neha's map helped us reach your home, ma'am. Yes, exactly. But a map also helps to know what is situated where. Like by looking at the map, you can easily tell the location of the park. Then map is very useful for us. Where is the map used, madam? A map is used for so many purposes. For example, in a big park, a museum, a shopping mall, etc. Every city has a map which helps the tourists to go from one place to another. Maps are not only for cities, but also for every state, country and even the world in which oceans, mountains and rivers are marked. If we talk about maps, it will take hours. But right now, let us enjoy the party. And we will talk about it some other day. Okay, okay madam. madam. Today we have learned about instructions related to directions are very important. If we don't follow the right directions, then it will be difficult for us to reach from one place to another. Directions related to a place could either be written or drawn on maps. Map is a drawing made with the help of lines which makes it easy to reach different places. Introduction to Maps Part 2 Today we will see the map of a park and try to understand the importance of maps to reach a place. Children, we are at an amusement park for a picnic. There are a lot of rides and food corners in the amusement park. You will enjoy a lot here. But initially, we will learn how to read maps. Your tickets are with me. Let us go for the rides. We will definitely go, but first let us all understand the map of this park. Take out your own maps. Vandana, tell me, what do you see in this map? Madam, there are many roads made here and some images on which numbers are written. And madam, there are some numbers written at the bottom of the map along with some names. In my opinion, these names belong to the image made on the map. You got it right, Neha. For example, food court is written next to number 11, which means that the image represents a food court. So, are all the remaining ones right? That means there are a lot of rides in this park. Come on, let's hurry up, else we may not be able to see everything. I want to ride. Find me first. It is at number 3 according to the map. Here is an important announcement for a five-year-old child. His name is Arun. He is wearing a red t-shirt and black pants. You can take Arun from the amusement park's office, which is shown by number 11 on the map. Oh, Arun and his parents must be really worried. Teacher, I want to take the helicopter smash ride. It is at number 10 on the map. 
I want to go for go karting first. Okay, let's do it this way. First, we will do go karting, and then we will go for helicopter smash. And finally, we will go for find me. Neha, why do we need to go together? Whoever wants to take their favorite ride first can go for it. We can do it separately. But, madam, what if we get lost like Arun? I think Arun did not know how to read the map, or he did not read it properly. That is why he got lost. If all of us read this map correctly, then there will be no problem. Okay, madam. We will follow the directions given on the map. Now you can enjoy your favorite rides, and I will enjoy my favorite ride. And then we all will meet at the food court at one o'clock. Okay, madam. Madam, I enjoyed a lot. Yes, we should visit this place at least once a month. Great that you enjoyed. But how did you come together? Yes, madam. We went separately, but met each other at the amphitheater. When we were leaving the amphitheater, it was almost one o'clock, so we came straight to the food court. So, what all did you see? We were at the main gate, which was shown as number one on the map. From there, I took a left turn and saw Magic Man at number fourteen. But there was a huge crowd, so I could not enter. Then I took a right turn. At number thirteen, there was a ride called Laughter on Wheels. I took that ride. There was a train and also a Joker on that ride. I enjoyed that a lot. There was a jumping jack very close to it. I saw that a lot of kids were jumping on it. I took the other way to come out from Laughter on Wheels. There was helicopter smash at number ten. It was a very scary ride. After coming out from the helicopter smash, I took a left turn and reached the amphitheater. There I met Vandana. We watched a movie together and then came back here. Now I will tell. I took right from main gate that is number one. Then very first I saw fly night at number two, but I did not find it interesting, so I did not go inside. Then I took a left turn and saw find me puzzle at number three. I went inside and there were too many people. It was fun to come out from there, but it took a lot of time. After I came out from there, I took a right turn. There was a small pond with ducks. I spent some time looking at the ducks and relaxing. As I went around the pond, I saw the amphitheater. Just I started to walk towards it, I heard Neha's voice. We decided to watch a film there. You know the rest of the story. Oh, great! You both have enjoyed a lot. Just think how difficult it would have been if there was no map for this amusement park. It is possible that we would have been separated from each other and faced a lot of problems. Yes, madam. From now on, whenever I go to visit some place, I will carry a map of that place. Every place does not have a map. Every place does not have a map, but bigger places like shopping malls, fairs, etc., will have a map. And there are maps of cities, states, countries, and the world. Madam, let us quickly eat something and explore the rest of the park. There are so many more rides to see. So, children, today we have seen how to read maps. and we have also seen how different places or objects are represented on the map introduction to maps part 3 today we will learn how to remember right and left and how to give directions to reach a place in common terms yesterday for the first time i visited some places all by myself but i had no problems because i had a map hi neha hi vandana hi aishman yes i also did not face any problem otherwise we would have also lost our way like that child arun what happened Who got lost and where did it happen? Yesterday we went to an amusement park. There was an announcement about a lost child. 
we were roaming in the park alone but with the help of a map we were able to meet at one place yesterday we all had very good practice in reading directions great could you please teach me i do not understand right and left properly sure let us have some ice cream first look at the right side there is an ice cream man where i can't find anyone this is because you are looking in the wrong direction i asked you to see towards right but you are looking towards left this is exactly what i am telling you that i cannot understand right and left there is no need to worry let me tell you raise your hand which you use for writing how does that help i use this hand to write this means that you write with the right hand next time if someone ask you about right side then think about that hand which you use for writing and look at that side similarly if someone asks you to go left then think about that hand which you do not use for writing that's a nice way but ayushman i know another way to remember right and left now raise your hands and keep your fingers towards the sky now open your thumb in such a way that they face each other can you see the english letter l in one of the hands yes this hand is in l shape l means left okay ayushman the hand which shows the letter l is your left hand oh now i get it let me try i write with this hand which means this is my right hand and the ice cream man is standing on the right side it means i should look towards this side oh yes there is an ice cream man now i understood this is easy ice cream was very good let us go back to the park yes ice cream was good but let's not go to the park a new park has been constructed in a nearby colony it has some really pretty fishes in it let's go and see them oh wow fishes i would love to see some fish now i am taking the first turn no ayushman you are going wrong way we have to take second right turn that's what i am doing look i have taken first right turn i will take the second right turn when another right turn will come no ayushman come back i will tell you the meaning of second right turn okay sure please tell me see if we say second turn it means we have to leave the first turn and take second similarly if we say second right turn then this means we have to leave first right turn and take second right turn then you should say leave first right and take second right yes we can say that but ayushman it is too long therefore we simply say take second right turn third left turn etc look this is the first right turn that you were taking we will not turn here we will go straight to the same road and turn on the next right I am feeling great here. Ayushman, look at the map and imagine that you are standing here. If someone asks you to take second left and third right turn, then how will you do it? I will go straight. This is the first left turn. Therefore, I will not take it. Then I will go straight. Here comes second left turn. I will turn here. Now I have to take the third right turn on this road. Here are first right turn, this is second right turn, and this is third right turn. I will take this turn. Very good, Ayushman. Today we told you about two methods. Yes, first I have learned about the trick to remember right and left, and the second one. Second is the method which tells. how not to take first turn and how to take third right turn